Hello. Recognize these? They are teach pendants, and you absolutely don't need them if you're using autonomous robots. Today, we're going to talk about robot programming methods and the differences between them. Teach pendant programming was developed by robot manufacturers. This is the so-called online programming, meaning you do it on site. Using a teach pendant, the operator moves the robot to the desired positions and records the movements. You need to program each point of the robot's trajectories. It should be noted that each robot manufacturer has their own program code and their own approach to programming. If a programmer knows how to work with Fanuc robots, for example, this knowledge will not be applicable to KUKA or ABB robots. Another disadvantage of this method is downtime. Programming takes place inside the cell, meaning the cell will not function during this time. To solve the issue of downtime, offline programming was invented. The idea here is to remove the need to program inside the cell, moving the process to a virtual environment instead. The programmer still writes the code, but all of this happens inside a virtual twin of the cell. It is worth noting that this method is more convenient for programmers. They sit at a computer with no need to move a real robot, which speeds up the process a little compared to online programming. Offline programming also partially solved the issue of compatibility with robots of different brands. Offline systems can work with different equipment. However, this way of programming created a challenge that online programming did not present. Virtual and real cells are always slightly different. Robots are not perfect and deviations are possible. The real working zone may differ from its virtual copy. The part itself may differ from its perfect 3D model seen in the software due to deviations arising in pre-production. Thus, after creating a program in a virtual environment, the programmer still needs to test it on a real robot using a teach pendant. Both options, online and offline programming, have been successfully used for many years but they are only efficient in serial production. A simple example is the automotive industry. Before launching a robotic production line, a long time is required to program. After this, however, the line works flawlessly, producing millions of copies of identical products. At this scale, the cost of initial programming is irrelevant. In high mix production, however, this approach is no longer viable. An enterprise that produces hundreds of different types of parts constantly switches from one part to another. In this scenario, both programming options require so much time and money that robots only lose you profit. In fact, this is the reason why robots are scarcely used, even in the most advanced countries. In South Korea, for example, there are 1,000 units per 10,000 employees. Germany is at 397 units, and the USA is at 274 units per 10,000 jobs. With new technologies, you can forget about programming absolutely. With machine vision and the Badgy software, welding robots can be cost effective for custom projects at one of a kind parts. A badge generates the robot path automatically in minutes. Users upload a 3D model of their product, then they set the welding parameters. You no longer need a programmer. You only need a welding expert that you likely already have. Robots with a badge have machine vision. Before welding, they scan the working area and the part. If deviations are found, the system automatically adjusts the robot's path. This happens on the fly. Robots and software exchange information in real time. Another advantage is this. There is no need to place a part precisely at zero points with no deviations allowed, as is the case with both online and offline programming. Since robots scan the part and specify its position, 
It can be positioned freely. Fixtures can also be placed freely in the area. The system will see them and take their position into account when creating robot trajectories. It opens the possibility for the use of robots in those industries where they previously were not used. Bridge structures, truck trailer and chassis, shipbuilding, commercial construction, heavy construction equipment, utility structures, offshore structures, industrial conveyors and others. In our lab we conducted a robot programming race comparing using a teach pendant with software. The results of the experiment can be found in the link in the description and hopefully up on the screen. Uh, please comment on what method you use yourself and other experiences. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.